Hi everybody and welcome to day 32 of index card a day. For this one I am trying um, the smush technique with my acrylic sprays. Um, I can't remember what video it was but a viewer and I were chatting and she made a comment something about smushing uh, the acrylic sprays but she was referring to Dina Wakeley's and I thought that's a great idea because I didn't like distress oxides until I did the smush technique and I'm not digging the gloss sprays so who knows but I did it with the marabou ones and I am going to try it with the Dina Wakely ones because they are different. They're both acrylic sprays, but they're different. I find Dina's are way more thick and plasticky and these are more, they lean more towards like an ink, like if Liquitex put their acrylic their ink in a spray form that's how I feel like they are whereas Dina Wakeley's I just find even though it can spray through a nozzle I feel it just seems thicker somehow or more I don't know more opaque maybe I, I don't know there's they're different so I smushed around a few colors and I wanted it more vibrant so I'm going back in and trying it again. I do regret um, splattering that black on there. I didn't care for that and I wish I hadn't done it but in the end when the card is done it doesn't bother me. I think yeah like I end up covering a lot of it up but the reason why I covered it up is because I didn't like it so I don't know, maybe this card would have been entirely different if I didn't add the black because I would not have been looking for a way to cover it up. So, everything happens for a reason, right? <laughs> so, going in with some more of the Marabou spray. And the colors I used are lemon, aquamarine, flamingo and black and the black was only used in the splatters that was it I really do love the colors though that Marabou has and they do like I'm feeling the card I'm touching it and I don't know like I find with Dina's glass sprays they feel like once they're dry like you can feel them they f and they look shiny and plastic like thick and plastic and the marabou ones I think they look matte when they're finished and it has more I think more of a watercolor look than an acrylic paint so they are different so this is a stencil, a Jago stencil, and it's called Deconstructed Daisies Mask. And it's by Elizabeth St. Hilaire. Well, it's designed by her, but Jago's sells it. And it's their brand. And I'm just going in with, first I went in with golden green gold and now I am trying the teal because the green gold just wasn't covering enough of the background I wanted it a bit more solid and the teal is more opaque So I'm just going in with my black pen and tracing the rest of the stencil because I didn't want to spray it or because I wanted I didn't want to cover the entire background and I wanted more of the lines of the stencil 
So I chose to go this route. I'm even loosely tracing around the part that I did stencil in with some paint. I decide to color in my lines of the what would be the flower petals with my graphics paint pen. And I really like how it made it stand out. These pens are very fluid and very easy to color in with. So the rest of the card really is just me doodling. I do some different patterns on the inside of the flower with my white gel pen. And I do go over it after with a Posca paint pen because I just wanted it to be a little more bold and thick lined. And that is it for day 32. So I'm going to say goodbye and play some music for the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later. Bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. You can tell